Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is just going to be a requested video of me curling a synthetic wig. And this wig is the Isis BS202. This is one of my favorite wigs. It's a straight, yakky textured wig. I've had this wig for several months and the wig is getting kind of old at this point. So I'm deciding to go ahead and curl it. So just know that that's something that you can do when you get tired of your wigs. You don't have to throw them out when they get stiff or whatever, you can curl them. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this wig. You don't need much except a regular curling iron. Of course, you can use flexi rods and things like that, but this is just a regular curling iron. It's not a ceramic curling iron. You just need a comb, some hairpins, and some hair bows, and you're just gonna section the hair off. And then when you curl the hair, in this particular, you can curl it any way you want, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna be curling this hair away from my face and it's gonna be some barrel curls and I'm gonna curl them away from my face. So you just go ahead and you just curl it in the way you desire. None of that part matters. What matters is what you do after you are finished with curling your hair. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold that curl in place for about five to 10 seconds. I'm not sure what the temperature is of this iron. I believe it's no higher than 350 degrees. So you can definitely use something that's gonna be between 300 and 350 degrees. And you go ahead and hold that on there for about five to 10 seconds. This is the most important part. When you get ready to release your curl from the curling iron, you're gonna do that slowly, but then you're gonna turn the curling iron upside down and put it into your hand so that you can release the curl into your hand. And once it gets in your hand, you're gonna close your hand so that you can basically lock the curls into place. Now you don't wanna grip it too tight. I know it looks like I'm gripping it tight, but you don't want to grip it too tight, but that basically locks the curls into place, okay? So you have to definitely make sure you do that for your curls to stay. If you don't hold it in your hand and, and lock the curls in, they're not gonna stay, okay? And you're gonna repeat this process for the whole head, and it, it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to do this. I know that that's a long time, but the benefit of it is that these curls will last for weeks upon weeks upon weeks, unless you get the hair wet these curls will last. So it's definitely worth it. And it's kind of like having a whole new wig. So I'm just gonna speed the video up as I finish the whole head. fourth of the hair done um, as you see the curls are beautiful they're bouncy they look vibrant um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat and do this on the rest of the head okay now I've gotten half of the head done and it's filling in really good all the curls look great I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and show you guys the finished product Okay guys, and here is the finished product just on the mannequin and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys on my head. This is the process. It took about an hour and a half. I didn't have to use any kind of products or anything. This is just the curling iron and holding the curl in your hand for a few seconds after you release the curls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.